So, um, good part of the day, dear students. This is Aminova Nikina, and we are going to talk about oral manifestation of uh, diseases. Oral cavity is considered to be a window of uh, of the body, and uh, the lesions of oral mucosa, tongue, uh, gingiva, dentis dentition, periodontium, salivary gland, facial skeleton, and extra oral skin are the parts of the uh, oral cavity that can be infected by the lesions. And uh, yeah, and in this uh, presentation, you are also going to learn about the appropriate diagnosis and uh, treatment of these manifestations in oral cavity. Classification of the uh, presentation and the diseases that can be met in oral cavity are uh, systematic infectious diseases, connective tissues disorders, granulomatous disease, gastrointestinal disease, respiratory diseases, uh, endocrine diseases, uh, neoplastic diseases, metabolic diseases, disorders, and uh, other deficiencies and disorders in the body. So, Manifestations that can be met in oral cavity can be infective and uh, they can be uh, the, the, the resource or the factor of these diseases can be viral infection, bacterial infection, fungal and protozoal infection. Let's talk about viral infections. Viral infections are can cause the diseases like stomatitis, herpes zoster, herpangina. Uh, measles, HIV, and mumps even. And uh, this is the example of herpes simplex stomatitis. And uh, there are two types of it. The first one is primary herpetic gingival stomatitis, recurrent herpes labialis. And the second one is primary herpetic gingival stomatitis. It can... Oh, it is mostly met in uh, in children, but sometimes it could be seen in adults, and uh, it is also misdiagnosed as teething. Uh, the diagnosis and the treatment are given in the current slide. Uh, diagnoses are mainly clinically, and the treatment is symptomatic. Attic level. Uh, is also recommended in the case of a severe. Uh, cases. Well, herpes zoster, shingles, they call it. Uh, this is another oral manifestation that can be met uh, in, in, in people. And uh, so uh, the lesions persist for two or three weeks. And uh, when it comes to diagnosis, it is uh, clinically. And the treatment is analgesics because uh, of the pain it gives. Uh, you can also use antivirus within 72 hours of onset of the lesions. Articlavir and other uh, moistures are also recommended. Herpangina is another example that is example of uh, oral manifestation that is common in children. Diagnosis is clinically and treatment is supportive. In the pictures, you can actually see how this type of oral manifestation uh, looks like. Um, so uh, hand, foot and mouth diseases. The short-lived they are short-lived because they only exist for five to eight days. It is common in young children. And uh, vessels on the hands and feet could be seen. Diagnosis is clinically and treatments or treatment is supportive. Infectious mononucleosis. Uh, it is also called Epstein-Barr uh, virus. Typical presentations are acute source road and tender cervical lymphadenopathy. Sorry for the mispronunciation. And it is also called kissing disease, right? It is uh, common in children and young adults. Uh, prodromal symptoms are, uh, can be uh, can last for four to five days. Anorexia, fatigue, and headache are also met. Treatment is mild to moderate cases, uh, symptomatic, and in case of uh, severity, uh, uh, Famsiclavir is also recommended. Ampicillin-based antibiotics should be avoided, so it means no antibiotics. Uh, this is another example of oral manifestation. It is relatively rare. HIV infection and immunocompromised. 
clinical features are symptomatic, oral lesions, non-specific painful ulcerations, gingiva and tongue, enlargement of parotid and a submandibular glands, dry mouth, fever, um, and headache. Laboratory tests should be done and the treatment is only focused on resolving spontaneously. And uh, the only treatment that is recommended is Ganciclavir, persistent cases. Vesols is another uh, oral manifestation that could be met in people. And uh, it can be also uh, met in uh, both uh, adults and the uh, children. Vaccination program should be done in here. Mumps. Mumps is common viral illness. So incubation period takes two to three weeks. Uh, the symptoms are fever, headache, painful party, gland swelling. Uh, so self-limiting should be done and complications can be as an H will. L. Diagnosis is clinical and treatment is supportive. Let's talk about bacterial infections, which are uh, which consist of three types of diseases. First one is tuberculosis, syphilis, and leprosy. Let's talk about the types of these uh, illnesses. Tuberculosis is chronic infectious disease. Clinical features are all of lesions, rare secondary to pulmonary tuberculosis. Pharynx is not that common. Primary infection, tonsils or adenoids. Secondary infection to coughing heavily or infected sputum. Uh, talking about the treatment is ATT, and the laboratory tests should be done on sputum culture, HPE, and CXR. Uh, Syphilis. There are three types of syphilis. First one is uh, primary, secondary, and the third one is uh, tertiary. Um, primary syphilis. Uh, the lips, tongue, buccal mucosa, and tonsils are infected. Uh, oral concrete, painless ulcer with a smooth surface, raised borders, and indurated margins. Spontaneous healing is also possible. Secondary syphilis, it is the most infectious one. Uh, secondary stage after six uh, to eight weeks. It lasts for two to 10 weeks in the, the most severe cases. Clinical features are low grade fever, headache, lacrimation, and uh, 